Hey guys, what's up? This is Dark Helmet Cat 67. Uh, bringing with another episode of Building Spaceball City in LEGO Worlds. So, today we have a fun, we have a fun episode planned today. Um, hold on. So let's head into Spaceball City. And now, we will wait for this to load. Oh, here we are. Here we are in Spaceball City. <clears throat> so, you guys remember Mike? Say hi. <laughs> Mike says hi. <laughs> so, as you remember in the last episode, of building Spaceball City, we converted existing showcase brick builds into high rises. So, and it's pretty simple. All you would have, all you have to do is find a section that's repeatable, and then you can paste it up the building. And you can do this with most buildings. Like, if you watch a designer slash gamers video in his uh, Building Bricksburg series, um, uh, you'll see that uh, you'll see that he does do the same thing. Converts brick builds into high-rises. So... So this is our town center, of course. And I think we are going to we are going to build a neighborhood. I think we're going to build a neighborhood in this episode because because um because uh the citizens our Lego citizens of Spaceball City need to have somewhere to to live. Where should we put it? That becomes the question. Where should we put it? <clears throat> hmm. Maybe somewhere he, maybe right here. Oh look, I can hear the diner music. I'd say we put it right here. Oh. All right, so let's get to building. Let's place down some roads. Place some more row plates. We wanted to make the neighbor. We want the neighborhood to be far away from like downtown. All right, so that was three. Let's go like ten, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that far enough? Not quite. You can still see some of the city. Let's go out a bit further. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, I think that should be far enough. You can't really see downtown as much. You can't really see downtown. So. What we're going to do next, we're now going to branch off the road. To do that, we're going to use a T-junction. And we're going to place it like this. This is going to be a fun... <clears throat> this is going to be a sweet neighborhood. With lots of houses. We're going to try to fit as many houses in this neighborhood as we can. Alright, so let's put three more row plates on the other side. Alright. So that was four that I placed on that side. Let's place the fourth one on this side. That way it's consistent. Or maybe... Hmm. Yeah, let's keep it like that. And then, let's make the road curve. Alright, so let's do the same thing on the other side, so that way it's consistent. So we have... A curve here, and then three row plates. Three straight ones. So let's get the curve. Place it down. Now pick up the straight one, and place three. That way it's the same on like the other side. And I think, did we, did we curve it? Yeah, we curved it. Now it will curve the opposite direction. Just like that. <clears throat> we'll leave this space open, because I'll build like a park. I'll put like a park. Like a little hangout area. We need a good name for this neighborhood too. What would you call a Lego neighborhood? If anyone has any ideas of what we could call our neighborhood, leave it in the comments. And then we'll build a sign in the next episode. <clears throat> so so building space balls building space ball city episodes they're going to happen every Thursday. So So Spaceball City episode, building Spaceball City episodes in LEGO Worlds will occur every Thursday. So, so if anyone has a good name for, for this neighborhood that we're going to be building, leave it in the comments. Maybe we could call it like, 
Brick Springs or whatever? Oh, it's already nighttime? Alright. Time to spin the sky, Mike. <clears throat> so. Let's place down another straight plate. So now we have four row plates. All right. All right. Let's put our first house. So what we have here, there's some houses in the game. So let's place down <clears throat> Where is it? Um Where's that? And you know we have we have some houses based on actual Lego sets. So, we'll play some of those. Where's that? Here it is. This is the, the first house we want to place. Lego Creator Changing Seasons. It's an actual set. And... Let's place it down probably about here. Oops. Got to turn off blend or overlap. There we are. <clears throat> Alright, so there's our first house. Next up, we have, um... We have, um... Where is it? I want to place down another cool house. Lego Creator Townhouse. Let's place that. I want to put it on the same axis. Like... This... Alright. So there's another house. And... What if the road... What if the road did this? Hmm. What if it curves around? Let's see what this looks like. Alright. So we are placing down Alright. I want to leave them enough space because I want them to have yards. I want these houses to have yards, like a front and a backyard. So,
Or maybe we do not. Yeah, what if we do like this? That's... That'd be cool. Yeah. Hmm. All right, let's get another house down. Mm, Emmett's house. Uh, we will put Emmett's house in this neighborhood. Yes. If you're wondering, yes, we will put Emmett's house in this neighborhood. Let's put some of these cottages. Let's put this cottage. There we go. And let's and let's place down the second cottage. They're a little bit different. Although these houses are Um, or do we put those, you know what, let's put the cottages across the street from those houses, that way there's somewhat, that way there's like enough room for like, for like a yard or something, so this looks like a good spot for it. Alright, now let's take Cottage 2 and place it. Let's place down this next cottage. Right here. There we are. Look at that. Our neighborhood is taking shape so far. We have four houses already. Alright, let's put some more houses. <clears throat> and, um, we will add some leisure. You know, like some entertainment. Like parks, other parks, and, uh, and stuff. You know, like a dog park, a skate park, and any other... And all the other types of parks. For some entertainment. So that way the, the neighborhood can have... That way the neighborhood is full of enjoyment. That way the suburbs can have something to do. Like go skating... Take their dog out for a walk, or go to a playground or something. Ooh, the pond park. Maybe that's the. Maybe we put that pond park right in the center, as like a hangout area. Alright, let's play some more houses. Let's see more houses. You know, we have some of the houses copied from the from the creator town that we can um So let's place down uh, let's place down some of those. Um 
Not the bungalow. Cause that that has snow on it. How about we place down Let's place down this house. It's a nice little house. Make sure it's on ground plane. And there we have it. Let's place this house a bit further away from the... ...from the streets here. Alright, let's place that in this house. Has three. Oh, that one has a garage. I like it. I like house... I like houses that have garages attached to them. So that way, you, you can, like, park your car and then just... ...the door to your house is inside. Yeah. Although there's some houses where the garage is separated, so... But us I think usually most houses have have garages attached to them. Alright. Well, our neighborhood is looking good so far. So now we have... Seven houses already. It's going to be a nice neighborhood, a nice peaceful neighborhood, with some, with some unique houses. Alright, let's continue the road. So that we can place down more houses. Uh, how am I going to do this? I want to keep it consistent. How did I do this? Four road plates? Four straight ones? And then turn? So I want to connect it for now. Uh, let's see how many. We have one, two, three, four. Yeah, four. And then a curve. And then four again. Okay. So it's four and four. That's how we should do this side. <clears throat> we'll change some of the roads later on if we need to, which is fine. Because the nice thing is you can replace roads. And grab the curve. And then place, and hopefully, I think we should be lined up. Let's do the drag. There we have it. <clears throat> All right. Hmm. Let's place down this house. This one is like a has a little patio. For like um you know like for hanging out outside. Alright, there it is. We may, we may eventually place some of the same, we may put some of the same houses elsewhere in the neighborhood. We, we might put some of the same houses, but, but we'll just repaint them in different colors. So that way, that way we're not being too repetitive, you know? Ooh, 
Let's place down this house. This one's Mike's house. The house with the deck. Let's put this house. Let's put Mike's house. Right about here. I think this looks this looks like a good spot for it. Oh, it's got a grill. Alright. I think this looks like a good height for it. I'm gonna push it out. Because I want to fit another house on the same street. Alright, so let's go ahead and put, fill in those missing bricks. <clears throat> Alright, so we have Mike's house. Now let's place down... Let's place down another house. What's another good house? Oh, this house. Let's place down this house. Let's put this one. Right here. Make sure it's on ground plane. Is it floating? It's not. Okay. We're good. Let's see. What other houses do we have? I think that's pretty much it for now. Hmm. We'll find a spot to put Emmett's house. Ooh. How about this one? We haven't placed that house, the Lego Creator Beach House. I think that's an actual, that's an actual Lego set. Yeah. Um, maybe we put it across the street. Nah, maybe not. We'll find, like, a good spot for that. Because that's a tiny house. Alright, let's go ahead and place that pond park. Yeah, this one. Let's place down a pond. So that people can, people can hang out. Hang out at the pond. Place that. Let's put it right here. Yeah. That way people can sit down by the pond and just look at the. Look at the frogs or even see fish. All right. Any other houses? 
Egyptian bathhouse. We could place that. Hmm. You know, this game kind of reminds me of, a uh, City Skylines. There's a game like that. Because you get to- you get to build your city. And you know, I was- and you know, designer slash gamer had this in mind. Like, maybe there's a way that you could, like, modify the game to make it look more like Lego buildings. Like an actual city simulation games. You know, have, like, Lego houses instead of, like, instead of, like, actual, actual houses or buildings. Make them more look like Lego buildings. You know what I mean? <clears throat> okay. Looks like I'm gonna need to- I'll have to make some more houses. So that way for the next episode we can get them placed down. Oh, and the school. We'll find a place to build a school. We'll definitely put a school in this neighborhood. Like a little schoolhouse. Or elementary school. Alright. Right now, I just want to find a another good house. Or oh, the hospital. We'll find a spot to place the hospital. Maybe we'll put a little clinic. Maybe we'll build the hospital in this neighborhood. Have a small clinic. But you know, maybe one day we'll build like an actual hospital. With like wings and... And a lot of... Like a tall building. It's because this is a city. And hospitals have many rooms, have many medical rooms, so. So, that's why I want to make my own, that's why I want to build my own hospital. We'll find a good, we'll find a spot to do that. <clears throat> but the one that came with the game, it's basically more like a clinic or something. It's more like a clinic. And we will put, like... We'll definitely build a fire station. Because, you know, it's gonna... The city's gonna need some emergency things. Okay, let's get back to building. Maybe we'll place some of those houses that we already place. And then off camera, I'll paint them. A gingerbread house. I don't want to. I do not want to place that because that's too Christmassy. Yeah. And yet. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's get a few more houses placed. Oh, that beach house. What is it? Who made this beach house? Was it? DSG? I think DSG. I think this was made by our friend... 
DSG, designer slash gamer. I actually followed one of his videos, his designing and building videos, and he built this awesome beach house. So I want to get that placed. I want to find a spot to put that. With the the butterfly roof and um, and this is kind of like a a modern house. So we need. So I need to. This is kind of modern. So maybe we should have some modern houses. We'll need to find. Oh wait, we'll find a spot to put those. Um, oh, the medieval houses, too. You know, you know, you can copy these medieval houses. You can find those in, like, medieval towns. In some biomes. In some biomes where there's a medieval town. So, that's where I got those houses from. From the medieval town in, like, the... Was it the woodland biome? The grassy biome. Oh, this house. Well, let's place down this house. Um. You know what? Let's actually branch off the road now. I want the road to break off. So let's see here. I think it's this spot. So we're going to go ahead and remove this road. And we're going to place that with a T-junction. T-intersection. <clears throat> um, so, so those of you wondering why we're not using the... Uh, why we're not using the rope plates with the grass on it? It's because it's because I'll be I'll be covering this with sidewalk anyway, so there's no reason to do that. So no need to do that. So that's why I'm using the these rope plates, the street plates. The more city like. We may find a spot where we could put some rope plates with the grass on it. Although, by looking at it, it does have yellow lines, so kind of kind of makes it pretty cool. But all right, so let's branch out the road, make it go out this way. Yeah. Okay, and then maybe we get that house that I selected. Was it Showcase Model 85? So what would we do? Yeah. Let's place, place it far enough from the road, so that way it has like a yard. I think that's good. This just looks like a good spot. Where's the front? Is that the front? Cuz I want to I want to like cuz I always want to put the front of the house facing towards the road. So that way um that way Lego citizens that are living in the houses, they can just walk straight to the to the sidewalk. Alright, so we got another house placed. Yeah, maybe I could place out another house like that. But maybe just paint it in a different color. But let's let's not do that. Let's see what else we can do. How about this gingerbread house? This one does not look too Christmassy. <laughs> well, 
We'll find a spot to put this one. Or not. Because gingerbread houses are only at Christmas time. And yet, it's not Christmas yet. Uh, anyway. Let's get... Maybe this house. Nah, we'll find a spot to put that. Alright, how about we put some of those houses in? Let's put some of those same houses that we placed down. And what I'll do off camera is repaint them in different colors. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's put this house. Country... What was the name of this model? Country Villa. Or Villa? Is that a house? Because that would fit in this neighborhood. Although, it's a house that would be nearby the... the sea. I think. See, that's the front. Um... Hmm. <clears throat> I need more houses. I gotta put more. I gotta find more houses to build. I thought I saw another house. It's a yellow house? I know there's another house somewhere. It's yellow and... And, um... Kind of, a. Uh, Is that it? Yeah. I think this is. Farmhouse? <clears throat> I like the idea of putting this house in our neighborhood. I mean, I know it's... I know it's too eastery. But... But I like the idea of putting this in our neighborhood. It's because it's a house. Um, how about we put this house Let's put this right here Yeah We can just remove some of the props some of the Easter props like like the egg cart, and maybe the giant egg. We could leave the little chicks in that water wheel. All right, let's get another house. Let's place down another house that we already placed. Another house like that would go next to it. Like, um... Maybe this house, again. Except we'll paint it in a different color. Let's place it right over here. So then, once we get this neighborhood done, we're going to need to add some accessories and props. Like, we need flowers, fences, we need mailboxes. Yeah. We need all, all those sorts of props. 
that would be in a house, that would belong at a house. Yeah, because we we do have a post office in in Spaceball City. Yeah, it's in downtown center. It's part of the downtown center. So that's why we need to put some mailboxes. <clears throat> oh, and by the way, um, by the way, uh, before we go, I have something special. Um, today is Mike's birthday. Yes, I discovered him today. July 8th. Yes. I mean, I know... I know this is one day before, but... When the actual video gets posted, it will be true. So, I discovered Mike July 8th. Last year, I think. So, so let's play set up. So, so, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mike. Happy birthday to you. Do I have a, do I have a cake saved? Let's type in cake. Cupcakes. Do I have a do I have like like a giant cake? Oh yes I do. I did copy the the giant birthday cake. <clears throat> Let's place that down. And do I have a candle? Candle. Here it is, candle. You know, you can actually, you can actually find these, find those kinds of cakes like this in the Candyland bio. <clears throat> We're going to put one candle in there because today is Mike's first birthday. Hey, um, this kind of gives me like a, this kind of gives me like a song that I could sing better. About about candles on a cake. It goes like this. Have a happy birthday, you who we'll have a great day too. Ooh. Everybody play. It's Mike's special day. Happy birthday. Okay, blow out the candles. <laughs> Does anyone recognize that song? From a certain TV show or something? Or a movie? <clears throat> yes, it's the birthday song from Blue's Clues. You know, I love I loved that I loved that show when I was a child. I loved Blue's Clues. Hopefully you like Hopefully you guys loved Blue's Clues too in your childhood memories when you were a kid. So I did. <clears throat> With uh, Steve and Joe. I believe that birthday song from Blue's Clues is from one of the old episodes. With Steve. And I believe that was a Steve episode. Where they celebrate Blue's birthday. So... 
And Steve had this awesome dance that he wanted to he wanted to show off blue for her birthday. What was it called? I I think it's called the birthday candle dance. Yeah. I believe there is a deleted scene of that where Steve's friends were teaching were teaching him how to do the birthday candle dance. There's a deleted scene of that. I think. Cuz during the actual episode, he actually knew. He knew how it went. So <clears throat> So, Mike, are you going to blow out that candle? Hmm. What color can we use to disorient that Mike has blown out the candle? Maybe black. There we go. Ha! <laughs> that way it disorients that Mike blew out the candle. <clears throat> Happy birthday, Mike! <laughs> Mike says thank you. <laughs> So yeah, Mike's birthday in LEGO Worlds is July 8th, so. So, one year old, er, Mike's first birthday, wow. Because I discovered him a year ago, so he is one year old. He has been around one year. That's cool. Alright, now let's get rid of it. Because <clears throat> we don't want a giant birthday cake in our neighborhood. It doesn't belong there. <laughs> Imagine a... <laughs> Imagine living inside a inside a giant cake. some floating bricks <clears throat> and that's it so anyway I think that's going to have to be it for this episode so I hope you guys enjoyed this leave a comment and hit that like button if you like it and um and um and um Yeah, I'll I'll build some of these houses off camera. I'll probably do a bit of work off camera by placing some of the same houses that we just built, but just repaint them in different colors so that way um and um so that way I'm not being too repetitive, and so is Mike. <clears throat> So, and if you have any ideas of what, of what, of what you want me to build in Spaceball City, leave it in the comments section below. And, um, and wishing, and, um, make sure you wish Mike, or how should I say this, uh, 
Wishing Mike a happy birthday. So, see you guys in the next episode. See you then. Bye. Say bye, Mike. Take care.